tell you the same thing. I've been not missing class because I ain't gonna graduate on time. And my mother, and my mother and I both talked talked about it, saying that if I don't, uh, if I didn't graduate on time, she and I both know I wasn't going back. So I couldn't miss a class. But what that did for me, it, it, it gave me the opportunity to realize uh, one thing. So here's a lesson. While my friends are out there, you know, laughing and teasing now that I'm the only senior in, in school with a book bag in class, front and, front, front and center, I had to learn to leave my friends, up. I had to learn to leave my friends behind and progress to do what I, what I needed to achieve. I had to uh, leave my friends behind so I can achieve my goal, what the Lyle's goal. Like I wanted to achieve, I wanted to achieve something. Cause like I'm saying, like if I didn't, if I didn't graduate, I don't know what was gonna happen to me. And my mom told me this. She said, "Listen, son," she sat me down one day. She said, "You're not gonna graduate. All that goofing around you did as a freshman and sophomore, you're not gonna graduate." So I wanted to prove my mom wrong. I was the first one to graduate in my family from high school on time. Everybody else dropped out or, or didn't make it. So I had to be an example. I told you I had nine brothers and sisters. So if I didn't make it, I'm not setting. I'm setting up failure for the rest of my family. The first of my little brothers and sisters. You know, I told you where we come from. So it's not that great. So you have to invest in yourself, time, money, uh, and, and sacrifices. And then um, the last thing, real quick, I know I'm running out of time. The last thing is passion, like I mentioned before. With that passion, you just gotta always have it. One of my passions is, is that I will not fail. I'm passionate about not failing. In fact, I'm afraid to fail. Like I do anything in this world to not fail. Like, Failure is embarrassment, right? Who wants to be embarrassed? So proper preparation prevents poor performance. So I will do whatever it takes to not fail. Any sacrifice, I'm not failing. That's my goal. That's what I'm passionate about. This is my daughter, ladies and gentlemen. And for me to, I had her at an early age. I was 20 years old when I had my child for the first time. Fresh out of high school. And one thing that led me to where I am today was my child. Because I can, if I fail, what does that do for her? She's going to say, my dad was a failure. I'm not going to be a failure. You guys aren't going to be failures. You guys are going to be successful. But what you have to do, it starts with you inside. You know, you've developed the entrepreneur mindset, and you take your, yourself to the next level. Achieve your goals. Okay? How are you sabotaging your goals right now? You know... Learn to leave your friends behind and invest in yourself and make yourself successful. I'm going to tell you a quick story and then I'm, I'm you know, we'll do some q and I'm going to tell you a story about a kid and a flower fly. So there's this kid, right? And uh, he loved fly, lightning bugs. Flower flies and lightning bugs are kind of the same thing, but uh, flower flies sound better than lightning bugs sometimes. So the kid, he loves fly, uh, lightning bugs. And so he's always outside in his front yard catching lightning bugs. And when it gets a little dark outside, you know, Whatever time it was. But he's out there catching these fireflies all the time, right? But he was really he's getting really good at it. So as he grabbed one, he catch it. You know, he see another, he wants to catch the other one. But every time he tries to catch the second fly, or a second uh, lightning bug, he'll lose the first one he caught. Right? Because the, the lightning bug seizes the opportunity to, to fly out once he has that, that opportunity. Right? He takes action and says, No, 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 you're not gonna keep me. I'm gone. Okay? So the kid's mom sees this boy out here struggling, trying to catch all these all these lightning bugs. So she gives him a glass jar and with the lid to the top. So here's some, you know, try putting your lightning bugs in this jar. You can hold them, put the lid on, so you can keep them. So he thanks, mom. So what do you do? He goes back out there. Now he's a, he's a guru at catching lightning bugs. He's snatching them. He's snatching them out the air, putting them in his in his glass jar, right? You know. So how many of you ever felt like he was in a you was in like a glass ceiling? No matter what you did. No matter how hard you try, you just can't get out. You can't get out of that situation. You ever felt like that? So that's how these lightning bugs are right now. So, but the funny thing is, there he put this lid on it, screwed it on tight, but he said, Ma, how they breathe? So what do they do? If you got a lid on this glass jar, these lightning bugs, they're gonna fly around, but they don't have enough air to, 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 to breathe. So they poke holes in the top of the, of the jar so they can have some air to breathe. 
Okay? So he continues to put more in there. Now there's so many in there, the, the compassion is getting, now it's not enough air to, to, to share with lightning bugs. So what's the only thing that's going to happen? They're going to die, because they're going to cap out, because they can't, they can't grow. There's no more room for them to grow. They're going to come. As an entrepreneur, this is, same, this is kind of the same thing. Working for someone. When you're working for that McDonald's, that Subway, or that Burger King, or that Fortune 500 Club, that company, they can put you in this glass jar. And they put that, when they put that, type, that, that lid on there, that's them giving you $9 an hour, $7 an hour, $10 an hour. They're capping your income. But see, as an entrepreneur, you know, we don't have an income. Or we don't have a cap. We can fly free like that lightning bug when you try to catch it when you just had one hand. So your income can be as, as much as you can, as hard as you work. Uh, when I became an entrepreneur, my income skyrocketed from when I first started being working for those Popeyes and all those telemarketing jobs and things like that. So what I'm trying to say to you today is, in short, if you don't take the steps and take action to just do it and build your own dream, somebody else will. And you'll be working for, their, for them as they build their dream. Okay? What are you willing to sacrifice? That's my story on entrepreneurship. So um, feel free to ask me any questions um, on anything that you have. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys, have, what you guys got for me. Any questions? Like, how did you get your business started up? Good question. She's asking me how did I get my business started up. When I first started, I went to a, like, uh, uh, this is a place called Scores on 108th and Maple thing. And they provide a lot of free advice and knowledge and, and workshops for people just trying to be successful in business. And I, I did a lot of research online, Googling. You know, at that time, I was really bad at Google. Google wasn't even that great at the time. We had to do Yahoo. And, you know, you just get Yahoo answered, and that's, you know, that's things. But Google, um, Score, and then uh, Colleges. So, anybody else? Sure. Um, did you play any other sports Well, I, I, I was pretty good in football. At least I thought I was. <laughs> um, it was too hot, though. I mean, football, it was hot. You can draw this stuff. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I did play football and basketball. How about you? How about you guys? Uh, I'd like to ask you guys a question. Do you guys have passion about anything? Raise your hand you got passion about something. Nice, nice. Um, do we got any, any future entrepreneurs in here? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, good, good. Now, um, one thing I want you guys to understand is that entrepreneurship is a, is a mindset. <coughs> it's not a job, it's a mindset. So, you know, once you develop your mindset to, you can still work for a company and still have an entrepreneur mindset. You know, you can grow in a company. You can your income can grow in a company, but you can still build your dream. Maybe you don't want to make a million dollars. Maybe you don't want to make three million dollars. That's not your goal. But as long as you have a clear understanding of your goals and, and what you want out of life, the sky's the limit. Any other questions? Yes. Great question. Um, my high school, um, I had a lot of support from high school actually. Um, our principal, uh, Gene Haynes, uh, he, he was pretty motivated to, uh, he actually would, I'm going to tell you why he motivated, because he's always going to tell my mom for all the wrongs I was doing when I was a freshman. So um, I didn't want to get in trouble with him. He had a crime one time. I ain't going to tell anybody else. He had to have a crime one time. Tell mom, tell your mom or something. But um, realistically, um, I had some good counselors. They kind of kept me on track. You know, even though when I was a freshman, I wasn't doing the right things, they would speak into me and say, hey, look, these are some of the things that you need to do because, you know, you're a good kid. You, you have potential. And those are the things that do reoccurring things that actually inspire me. What made you actually want to take your wanting to be a barber to actually Great question. Uh, me wanting to take my barber into owning my own business, uh, came about because when I was a shop I was working in at the time, um, I had some, I had a thought of doing this, some, this thing called um, Wacky Wednesdays. 
because I used to, like Wednesday is like a slow day for us at, as barbers, like four wide, four wide. And um, what I wanted to do, I presented to the shop that I was working at at the time. I said, hey, let's do this thing called Wacky Wednesdays when we do our $8 haircuts. At least that way we can at least make some money you know, on Wednesday. Nobody wanted to do it. I tried it, it didn't work because it was just me. So when I opened up my own shop, I wanted to try that. And I, I went from making, just off of that alone, I went from making $40 a week on a Wednesday to $300 a week on a Wednesday. Just on Wednesday. Just by doing that one service. Wacky Wednesdays. Actually, it's the foundation of my business. Yes. Um, a lot of entrepreneurs like telling more than one like, business interest. Are there any other businesses you are interested in going into or starting well, Great question. He asked me, is there any other businesses that I would be interested in going in or do I have? Actually, I'm an author also. I just finished my first book. This is here. Um, actually, I was going to give away a free copy today to one of the guys. Actually, there's two free copies if you're interested. And um, um, yes, I'm an author. I've actually, I've hosted hair shows and I'm an educator. I teach people how to cut hair. And um, and all of those are my business entities. So yes, I have different business. And I have a parallel one as well. I have a, oh yes. Where are you going to get your hair cut? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, that actually, I go to this, uh, a lady called uh, Tiffany's. I don't actually get haircuts. Uh, I'm, you know, I can't get facial hair, so I kind of overcompensate with my <laughs> with my hair on my head. So I go to Tiffany's on uh, what is that, 60th and Hartman. Okay. Um, I got a question for you guys, and uh, I want to give away a book that you can get this right. Somebody tell me what I'm passionate about. You right here. Um, basketball. <laughs> I used to be passionate about basketball. That wasn't what I was talking about today. I, yeah, I used to be passionate about basketball. I heard my name. No, I'm not quite. Not feeling. Sorry? Not feeling. Not feeling. I'm passionate about not feeling because I have, I have to succeed. I have another. Let's see. Um, how about uh, <coughs> Can anybody tell me what the actual definition of an entrepreneur? Takes the risk to start a business. Great. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I thank you guys for your time. Um, um, I really appreciate you know being able to speak to you guys. Um, you can. Um, are you guys on social media? Yeah, everybody's on social media. <laughs> what, what's what's like the, the hottest social media right now? Is it, is it Instagram? Instagram? Twitter, Instagram. Really? I, I gotta, so how about, can I, can I, can I take an uh, Instagram video or, or, or selfie with you guys? Is that cool? And, and I'll tag, you know, whatever common word is cool with you guys, and you guys can tag it, and I can, you know, be affiliated with you guys. How's that? Is that pretty cool? I'm going to do an Instagram video, and I just want everybody to say entrepreneurship. Can we do that? Yeah. Oh, sweet, sweet. Put your lip gloss on, brush your hair.